Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Beck, and as you know, uh, the name of my show is It's Not About Us, because it's not, and it's just going to be a different kind of show for you guys today. Usually, I bring somebody in, and we interview them, and we hit different subjects, and we learn about some of the people that are either running for office, or are leaders of our country, or, or people that just have so many ambitions to help this country that they're out there fighting this battle that we're in. And so we like to let them say what's on their heart, to share with you, to encourage you, because our show is more about the positive things. That's where we like to stay. But today I'm gonna go a little different and I'm gonna do the show myself. I'm gonna speak from my heart because you know, I. I do my best to follow God in everything that I do, everything that I share, everything that is important. And God has been giving me some very important words lately. And one of them just this morning to add to this, which really tickled me because I feel like as if, you know, when you're in communion with God, which we all should be, and I know many of you are that follow my show, or many of you are seeking to be that way, and that's even more important. And so I want to share with you that this morning God gave me the word hope. And I think too often we're losing sight of that word in this day and age. We're losing sight of the hope that we should have no matter how evil and wicked the world is, and we know it is, no matter what battles are hitting us from the right and the left, from morning till night, whether it's on the show, whether it's just bad news from a family member or friend about illness or sorrow. And that happens every day. Because as I've pointed out many times on my show, one of the things that God shared with me from the very beginning of getting to know Him was that there will always be trials. And you know, we need to understand more than anything else nowadays, is the word of God is absolute. It, it doesn't change. When he says the word always, he doesn't mean occasionally, sometimes, um, it, only in certain situations. No, trials are consistently in our life. Maybe not happening to us at the moment, but to a friend or a family member or just around us in our world, our community. And so I think that hope is one of the greatest words that God ever put in our minds and our hearts and that it's over and over in his word that we must have hope no matter how bad things get. And so today I'm going to touch on a couple quick subjects and just tell you that and remind you that we always should have hope. And one of them is that just yesterday it came out about the Durham papers and the investigation that went into the Russian, as President Trump calls it, and we now know is true, a hoax. It was all just somebody's imaginative way of sharing evil into this world because they turned around and they sought to find a cause without a cause. They sought to make things wrong when things were right, they wanted to smear the person that beat their person, and their person actually helped create that by spreading bad things, by repeating things that weren't true, but repeating things that were made up. And I don't know how much more wrong you can get. I mean, evil is, and evil does as evil is and and it's that sounds really redundant but evil is very pointed in its in its attack the devil is not quietly walking about he walks about in a very open brazen way and he does things and puts things on people's hearts that are lost over and over again and we have to remember that and that's where some of our hope comes from. We have hope in knowing that God is much stronger than the devil anytime, and that we have 
the Holy Spirit in us, those of us that are believers, we know that we have a Holy Spirit that is powerful like Jesus was and that we can speak to this and we can have hope in it. We have to have hope in the fact that people will eventually have their eyes open. I know there's many people that don't right now. I know there are many people that are falling for the, the fake news on TV. It's the only thing they watch. They're not aware of the fact that there are better sources. And so I ask that in this time, that all of you pray along with me and all of us that have made a commitment to fight this battle and pray continually as the Bible says. You know, you can pray the shortest prayer in the world, help, and God hears you. You can seek and have hope in the darkest of times because you're not alone. He's with you. We have to stay in that mindset. We have to charge forth. We have to be bold. We have to remember you're not alone. Not only are you not alone because God is with you and that Jesus, his son, came to save you, but you're also not alone because you've got friends and family and neighbors and community and states and governing bodies that are good. They're not all gone. They're not all the swamp. They are people who are like you and I that are listening to and and looking for answers. And let me tell you, the answers are there. Are they going to happen overnight? Did they happen overnight to Moses? Oh my, no. Did they happen overnight to any of the biblical people that you've read about ever? Very little ever happened in a split second and without suffering, without concerns, without hope, without prayer, without determination, without uh, persistence. You know, these are the things that God tells us we must do. And so I'm calling on all of you today in this show to share with you that hope is there and that we are so blessed and we've got so many wonderful things. Think of your children when you're sad. Think of the blessings that God has given you through them. Think of your parents. You know, I know a lot of us, I mean, my mother was very difficult with me. I didn't have an easy childhood, but you know what? Neither did my mother. And we have to learn to love and forgive. We have to learn to let go of the anger, let go of the frustrations. And remember that our hope is in God and is in Jesus. No matter what the circumstances, whether it's our personal ones or the ones we're dealing with in this world right now. I just got back from Hungary, a wonderful country that is very strong on hope and family and being persistent. They never stopped fighting the battle, no matter how bad it got. They have had to fight back from huge wars over thousands of years. When we've only been here and been a country for just over 200 years, Think about their fight and their battle and how long it's been when you're feeling overwhelmed because our battle is short so far and there's much more to come and it won't be easy, but that doesn't mean that you're alone or you're not loved or we're not here for you. And we're going to continue to bring the good quality people that can share the positive with you. We can let you know that we have wonderful people that are out there serving their country. I mean, I have a grandson in the Navy that I am so proud of. As many hundreds of thousands of people in this country go out every day and serve this country, whether in the military or in the police departments or in the fire departments or any other kind of work where they're serving our country on a daily basis. Pray for them, pray for our country Pray for um, us to have an open mind that says, God, we love you and we trust you. And I think that's the greatest gift that God will ever give you is the gift of faith. But you have to work it. You have to want it. You have to ask for it and you will receive it. 
So I'm just grateful that I could spend some time with you today talking to you about, although there's all these wicked, ugly things happening, we're not alone and we have God and we have each other. I mean, I come into work, I was thinking this morning, how blessed I am that I am surrounded by all kinds of people that have talents that I don't have, but I need them in my daily work to serve you and serve my country and serve my God. And so what would I do without these wonderful people? I would be lost. And none of us have to be lost because God gave us angels. When we were traveling back, uh, we went to Hungary and France. And when we were traveling back, we had a pretty rough trip and we ran into all kinds of problems. And it was like the devil was just trying to bowl with us. He was throwing that ball down the middle of the aisle and we were just getting hit and slammed every direction. But guess what he provided? Angels all along the way. There are angels surrounding us all the time that we can have hope in. There are hedges that you can pray for, for God to put around you and keep you safe and free from demons and evil in your world and in your life. Pray to God for all of that because they're there. And he promised us all of this in his word. And again, his word is the soundest doctrine that you will ever have. It's the only sound doctrine. It's the only truth that you will ever be sure of. And remember that in that, it always tell, also tells us that Jesus is our best friend and that we can talk to him anytime, anywhere, anyway. And yes, you can be lonely in a room full of people, but that doesn't mean you're alone. And remember that when you're feeling that way. And if you need somebody to talk to, or you have questions, or you want to reach out, please reach out to us. Go to ElaineBeck.com. And there are places in there where you can reach out to our organization. If you want a Bible, we'll send you one for free. If you want to know more about God, if you need to have questions answered, if you have certain things or people you'd like us to bring on the show, let us know because we're here to try and help you. That's what God asked me to do. That's why I have this studio. This is why God has supplied me with the good people that I have to work with me because of you. And maybe the government isn't the answer to everything, but we must fight to be strong within the government as well, because God says that in his word. He says that he is over the government. He cannot be over it if we let the devil in and run it. So be supportive, reach out to everyone, love one another, hug your family and your friends today, know that we're praying for you, and just that hope is always there. Don't give up hope. That's the worst thing we can do. That's why there's so much sorrow in this world now because people have lost hope. Don't lose hope. God is bigger and better than any of this. And he is there for all of us. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day and know that Elaine Beck is always praying for all of God's people. And for those that are lost, we must pray for them. For those in prison, for those that God has shared with us that we must pray for. Don't forget them. And please don't forget Israel and Jerusalem because God says he will bless those that bless them. So you have a blessed day and we'll see you on our next CPAC Now.